Well, hello and welcome to this course on how to use LMMS, which is a free beat making software. So without further ado, let's get started with this course. So the first thing you do is after you open up LMMS is you need to delete all these instruments right here. So to do that is very easy. All you do is click on this little gear and then click on remove this track. Click on the gear and then remove this track. We do that for each and every one of them. Now we're going to use the song editor to do our beat. So the first thing we need to do is choose an instrument. To do that, you come here to the star, which is my preset, and you click on it. You go down to Synth, Add, Sub Effects. You double click it, it'll open it up. You could choose any instrument that you want from here. Well, right now I'm gonna choose the one that says Collection and the very first one here. And then to bring this instrument into the song editor, what you need to do is you left click and hold and then drag it and drop it. So now we're going to open up the piano roll. So to do that, you need to click on this very first one here. You create this little uh, black square there. Then you right click and click on open in piano roll. And it opens it up in piano roll. Another way to do the same exact thing is you double click on this here. And it automatically opens up the piano roll. So whichever way you want to choose, it'll be fine. Now we're going to start placing notes. To place notes is very simple. You just click where you want the note to be and it adds the note right there. And we're gonna make a nice simple little melody here. So let's take a listen to this. Okay, and now we're gonna make this melody a little bit longer. So to do that is you click on this little dotted square right here and you highlight everything. Uh, you click on copy selected notes and then you click right here where it says paste notes from clipboard. Now you're wondering where they are. Now all you have to do is hit control and hold it and the arrow to the right and it brings it right next to it. Now I want to double this up over here. So I'm going to do the same thing all over again. Highlight everything. Copy, paste, control and hold it. Right arrow key. Now all of these are blue right here. I don't want them to be that color. Uh, because if you leave them like that, then you won't hear it. So you click anywhere and you make another note, then delete it and everything is there now. So let's click on play. And let's do a little something different here. Nothing major. Do that. Let's listen to this again. And there you have it. We have a melody now. So uh, another thing that you can do here is that you can shorten or make these notes longer anywhere that you want them. Uh, to do that, you simply click on the little dotted square here, highlight the note that you want to make bigger. Click on the pencil and you're making it bigger, you're making it smaller. You can make it any size you want and that's just for one. But let's say I want to make all of these shorter. Instead of going one by one and shorten it and then making it long, I could do the whole entire uh, notes here. So click on the dotted square again, highlight everything here, click on the pencil and now I just made all of them shorter. All right, so let's take a quick listen. It's still the same. So that's how you make them longer or shorter. Now, the other thing is that you listen to the speed and it has a tempo of 140. Let's say you want it to go faster. So to do that, it's very simple. You click and hold the right mouse button and you drag up. And let's put it at 180. And then you play it. And now it's playing faster. If you want it to go slower, you hit and hold the right mouse button and you bring it down and let's bring it down to 70. And that makes 
and that makes the song either go faster or go slower all right so it's the tempo or bpm for the song all right and you could change this minutes and seconds to bars and beats okay so all you got to do is click on it and it'll change it for you okay very simple there now we're going to close this here and as you can see we have the melody right here so now when you hit play it's going to be playing but instead of looping around it's just going to keep on going but we don't want that we want it to loop around so to do that it's very simple click here where it says enable disable loop point and you click it and now the loop is right here so then you you click and hold the right mouse button and then you drag it to the end of the loop so now when I go to play this it's gonna loop and come right back around take a look there you have it and that's how you create a loop to so the song could just loop and stay in the same place now we're gonna create a drum loop so to do this we're gonna go right here which is my samples and we're gonna go down to uh, drum synth and then go down to CR8000 and double click that open it up and let's choose the uh, kick from here where are you right here so remember left click hold drag and drop and then from here we're also going to choose a snare you know what I'm going to choose this one right here where it says rim so again left click and hold drag and drop and to do the kick we're going to put the kick on the very first one and always choose from C5 go down to and put it right there because then that's going to sound the way it was meant to be originally if you put it anywhere else it's going to sound different so if you put it here it sounds different if you bring it down here gives it a, a more of a thump and this is the way that it was meant to be sound originally but I like this thumpy the way this sounds here so then now you're gonna place uh, the kick in the very first one where you see the thick white line and we're gonna do it four times okay and then we're gonna place the snare and the snare is gonna go on the third so we're gonna switch this on the third beat so when you see this each one of these is a beat so this here four little squares from here to here is one beat two beat three beat four beat and then it starts all over again one two three four so we're going to place a snare on the third on the third beat and we're going to do that in every single one of them All right, so now we just created a little beat. And then you could add a little bit more swing by just adding some more kicks in here. So we add another kick, let's say right here and another one in the middle here. And let's do the same thing over here. So now let's take a quick listen. And the other thing that you can do here is let's add some more snares to this. And let's see how this is going to sound. And there you have it that's how you make or that's how you use LMMS and how you start making a beat with LMMS uh, LMMS comes with a lot of different sounds already included in it 
and you could download more sounds if you like uh, from the internet absolutely free so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate your time and i hope that this was helpful and that this was useful in some way to you and i can't wait to see you in the next tutorial thank you again and have a blessed blessed day